How do I compare the stock price performance of Reliance with that of BSE Sensex? How do I compare the stock price performance of Infosys with TCS and Nifty over a period of time? How do I make an apples to apples comparison of stock prices of different companies? Hello friends, I'm Himanshu Jain. I'm one of the co-founders of the Wall Street School. When we start teaching finance to the students, many of the students are not aware as to how to compare the stock price performance of different companies over a period of time by rebasing them and bringing them to the same base. This is amongst the first step to analyze a company's stock price performance over a period of time. So let's learn this right now, right away. You have the link for the Excel file to be downloaded in the description box below. Download that. Watch this video till the end. Do it, learn it, and in case you find it insightful, share with your friends and your colleagues. So let's get started. Hello friends and welcome back. This is the third video in the series of Basics of Excel. Before watching this video, I would encourage you to watch the first and the second video of Basics of Excel for a better comprehension in case you have not watched it as yet. In case you watched it, fantastic, you can watch this video, it will be better learning for you. What we are going to cover in this video is how to analyze a particular company's stock price performance over a period of time. So this Excel is in the downloadable format uh, in the link of this uh, video. So here you go. Let's start. Now you see this data. This is the historical data of adjusted stock price of publicly listed companies. So I have the Nifty 50 data uh, for the last five years starting from 2018 till end of 2022. So I have Nifty data, I have Maruti data, I have Tata Motors, I have Reliance stock price data. Now I want to see whose performance has been the best in the last five years. This is this data. This is the daily data over here. Before, before we actually look into the data, let's do a bit of synthesis and let's sort of clean the data so that it's better to comprehend. First thing first, let's change the date format. So let's, you know, I can see the date in all in number format here. If at all I want to convert this into a DDMMMYY format, I use a shortcut called Control Shift 3. Control, I write this here. It's Control plus Shift plus 3. What it will do is it will convert the data into a DDMMMYY format. So I, I can do the same thing over here. I select everything. Control shift down, control, sh I'll, I, uh, you know, control shift down, I've been able to select the entire range and then I did control shift and three, number three. So the entire data gets converted into a DD MMM YY format here, the date format. Now over here, I'm given the stock price data. Again, it's not good numbers, good to comprehend. So I select this range, I said Alt H K. Alt H9, Alt H9, Alt HK for converting the data into two decimals, Alt H9 for reducing the decimals and Alt H9 again to reduce the decimals. Now this data is in the, uh, you know, just the number format and it's clean data for the entire one. This has been taught to you in the first and the second video of uh, the basics of Excel. So I would encourage in case you have not, you know, please watch that video first. Now over here guys, so I'm given Nifty, I'm given Maruti, I'm given Tata Motors and I'm given Reliance uh, stock price data. This is the actual data and I want to, you know, I want to see from a graph whose performance has been the best. So what I do is I select this range here. I said Alt and then I said N because I want to uh, over here. This is the shortcut N and I want to make a line chart here. So the shortcut is N1 and I make the first line chart. It gives me a data over here like this. All N and then N1. I make a line chart here. Now you see this. I made a line chart here. The one in dark blue is Nifty. 
then you have Maruti, then you have uh, Reliance, and then you have Tata Motors. So whose performance has been the best? Now on the face of it, you know, as a naked eye, what I can see is, and you know, think through and watch and pause the video and then your answer would be that Nifty's performance has been the best because it has gone the maximum over here. It's gone highest the maximum. However, if you closely peruse the data, this is not a right sort of a chart here because this is not an apples to apples comparison because you have you have Nifty which has moved from 10,000 odd to 18,000 odd. You have Maruti which has moved from 9,000 odd to 8,000 odd and you have Tata Motors which has moved from 439 odd to 391 and you have Reliance which is 883 odd to 2500 odd. Now this is not an apples to apples comparison. How do I make, make things out here? And this is not the right chart. On the face of it, it looks nifty, but I do not know. Let me check it, you know, looking into the data in a more robust manner. So what I do is, before actually getting into it, let's remember something that we started in our mathematics way back in 5th and the 6th standard. Remember, we did something like this. We learned that in case, you know, uh, the price of 10 apples is 20. What's the price of 15 apples? Remember, we used to do something like this here in our fifth or sixth standard of our mathematics. So what we did was, it was a unitary method that we had learned that the price of 10 apples is 20. So the price of one apple is nothing but 20 by 10. And what's the price of 15 apples? You would cross multiply this. So 20 by 10 into 15. So here you go, you got the right answer. That the price of 15 apples is 20 rupees. That was the unitary method that we had learned in our, you know, fifth or the sixth standard of our mathematics. We are going to apply the same unitary method, you know, over here, you know, in trying to address this. And how do I do that? So this data is downloaded from Yahoo Finance, uh, you know, on a daily basis uh, for five years. So what I'll do is I'll insert four columns. Control shift plus, I've been able to insert four columns here. You learned this in the shortcuts in the first video. I copy the headings here. Here you go. So you have Nifty, Maruti, Tata Motors and Reliance. Let's talk of Nifty first. So Nifty has moved from 10,000 to almost 18,000 here. So what I'll do is, let us assume mathematically that this 10,000 is not 10,000. Let's assume, and I'm talking a specific of Nifty here, that this 10,442 is nothing but 100. If 10,442 is 100, then what is 1? This will be nothing but 100 upon 10442 and then what is this 443 this will be nothing but 100 upon 442 10 442 into 10443 so this number will be slightly very slightly more than 100 let's check this here so what I'm saying is let's assume that this 10,442 is 100 and I have the same number here and I fix it. I fix it, fix the denominator using a 4 key on my laptop. So I get this dollar sign here, I get this dollar sign here. So I fix this cell here and I said into 100. Here you go. It gives me a date format because uh, you know I have just you know inserted four columns here so how do i convert this into a number format i said alt h k alt h k i get converted into a number format alt plus h plus k we have done this in the first video of basic excel in case you have not watched, not watched it just just look into it this again so i get this 100 here same logic 
of the same apple example which I gave you. Now, if this is centered and if at all I drag it down, I copy this and bring it down here. If 10,442 is 100, then 10,443 is slightly more than 100. And if at all I drag it down, Control C and Control V, I go down. Then what is 10,505? On a base of 100, this number is slightly more than 100. So it comes out to be 100.6. If 10,442 has converted itself into 10,505, so 100 is now 100.6 here. And if at all I drag it down till the end, Control C, left key, and here we go. Here we go. What I did was, I'll, I'll just do, do it. I repeat what I did without using the mouse. I copied the formula, Control C. I went on the left hand side. Control down. I reached extreme bottom. Right arrow key. Control shift up arrow key. Control V. So I pasted the formula. You may want to pause this video and watch it again and then do it on your Excel so that your speed with respect to Excel becomes better. So here you go. So mathematically what has happened is 10,000 Nifty has become almost 18,000 in a matter of 5 years. So a similar analogy if it was 100, 100 has become 173 odd mathematically. What I have done is I have rebased this base to the base of 100 because earlier a 10,000 and 9,000 and 433 and 4883 they were not apples to apples comparison here and when it comes to Maruti I will do the same thing I will do the same thing with Maruti also what I am saying is that this 9057 9057 is 100 so what is 1 it is 100 upon 9057 and then what is this 8927 this number so this is nothing but 100 upon 9057 into 8927 here this will be slightly less than 100 so let's perform this in excel mathematically so what i'm saying is one thing is nothing but this number divided by the same 9557 I fix this data, I fix this base of 9057 here into, into 100. Here we go. How do I convert this into a number format? Alt H K. Here we go. And I've assumed or rebased this 9057 into 100. So what is the second number? This will be, I just copy this formula and drag it down. On a base of 100, 9057 on a base of 100 is 100. What is 8927? It is slightly less than 100. It is 98.56. And I drag it down till the end. Control down, right arrow key, control shift up, control V. I populate this entire part over here like this. So if 9057 was 100, now this has been, this has gone down to 8421. So if this 9057 was 100, on mathematically this number has become 92.97 here. Similar thing you can do for Tata Motors also. I am assuming, I, what I am doing is, I am rebasing the base of 439 to the base of 100. And then seeing how the data works, I said Alt HK. I get this 100 here and I copy the formula without using the mouse. Here we go. So if 439 basis 100 has become 391, then the base of 100 has actually become 89. And apply the same thing for Reliance. This 883 rebased to the base of 100. Here we go. Alt H K. Copy the formula, drag it. Here you go. So 883 
on a base of 2500 now this 100 has become 288 when the data was rebased to the base of 100 so what essentially has happened is the starting point of all the four parameters is 100 the starting point of all the four parameters is 100 what I have done is I have rebased the data to the base of 100 and now if at all I make a chart for this data alt n and n1 here we go and make the chart and now you see this now I can easily make out because the starting point is the same that Reliance has outperformed the Nifty, Maruti and Tata Motors. Now this, this is the proper chart because my starting point is the same. If at all I have to see in a race who has performed the best, I have to, you know, everybody starts from the same base. So everybody starting from the base of 100. So what I have essentially taught you is how do you rebase the data on a same base, bringing them to a common ground and then seeing whose performance has been the best over a period of time. If at all you had to solve it with a single formula, I mean if at all I had asked you to solve this with a single formula by putting one single answer over here, how would you solve it? Now what I will do is, instead of fixing the entire cell, I will change this and just fix the row, just fix the row. Now this row is frozen, earlier the entire cell was frozen. Now just this row is frozen and I do an enter here and I copy this formula, I go on the left hand side, control down, shift and right arrow key select this entire array where I need my output control shift up control shift up control V here you go single formula you'll be able to solve all the data now what happens because of this row fixing is when I go down for example I want to look into this data of nifty because I've just frozen, frozen the row so this part is intact and I go down, this part is intact because the row is frozen. And because the row is frozen, that allows me the liberty to go on the right hand side. When I go on the right hand side, it picks up Maruti. When I go on the right hand side, it picks up Tata Motors. So if at all I go down here, it picks up Tata Motors 439 rupees because the row is frozen. So this part is frozen. And if at all I go to Reliance, this 883 is frozen and because just the row is frozen it allows me the liberty to go down taking the base of the first value and other values correspondingly come here right and now you make the chart here same alt n n1 here you see and you make the chart single formula this is done now onwards in case you make you're supposed to make and analyze the data for example you want to analyze a, a Zomato's performance which is right now at 70 odd rupees with a viz nifty which is at 18,000 and you want to analyze their performance over a period of next one year now and 70 rupees is not comparable to 18,000 rupees that's not an apples to apples comparison you got to rebase the data bring them to the same base common ground and then see whose performance has been the best as compared to the second one now in case you found this video useful do share with your friends and your colleagues and happy learning thanks for watching